The Liebherr R936 is a crawl of excavator in the 30 ton class. This model of it comes in a Liebherr branded box and just the number on the end of the box indicates this is a limited edition model. It's in the colours of HMT, Erdbau und Abbruch, which is a German earthworks and demolition company based just outside Munich. Inside the box are expanded polystyrene trays and they're helpfully marked top and bottom so you know which way up it is. With a flick of the wrist the top tray is taken off and the model is protected by some soft paper. This is a limited edition model and only 300 have been made. The model is fully assembled when it comes out of the box but there's also a bag of small parts and it contains some pins and spare track links. There are a couple of bits of packaging to remove, one is the elastic bands that are held on to keep the tracks from separating during shipping. And there's some masking tape which prevents the bucket pins coming out as the box is thrown about by a violent delivery man. Looking underneath, the X-shaped undercarriage is visible and is also detailing on the underside of the body. The metal track pads are nicely detailed and the track frames are very good rollers. The cab detailing is really sharp and the interior really stands out with its two-tone colour scheme. The aspect which sets this model apart though is the HMT livery. The black paint and high quality graphics really make for a very good looking model. It has good detailing on top and the metal handrails and hydraulic pipes really look smart. The boom stick and bucket are also high quality with hydraulics detailing and rivets that can hardly be seen. For the test of the features we go to Cranes Etc's German Erdbau site. And there we find the crawler tracks are quite stiff but they do have working rollers on the bottom. They are spring loaded to keep the tension but it is tight and that doesn't help them roll. But at vast expense let's ship in a bit of rough terrain. And with the crawler tracks able to bite we find that they roll with flying colours. The next test is to try out the rotation of the model. And it's nice and smooth without any hint of rocking or jerkiness. On to the all important digging functions and the boom and stick can be stretched out. And as you would expect from NZG there's plenty of stiffness in the hydraulic cylinders so it will hold any pose that you want to set. It'll also give your fingers a bit of a workout as you try to bend the stick into different positions. The range of movement is very good and it'll fold up nice and small for transport. There's also a full range of movement possible on the bucket. So if you wanted to you could amaze your friends and family with the amazing dexterity in your fingers. This model has one feature which it would be nice if all excavator models had and that is that the bucket is removable. It's secured in place by a couple of steel pins which you can just pull out. The bucket can then be separated and you're able to lose the pins by throwing them on the floor. That was a specially recorded artist's impression of a Cranes Etc low loader reversing. One of the possibilities for an excavator like this is to show it loaded on a suitable truck and then watch it being driven away by a Formula 1 driver. Onward to the genuine imitation real life test. And here the 936 is building a beach for the Cranes Etc team. The special finger and thumb hydraulics manage to empty the bucket every time. This is a high quality Liebherr excavator model by NZG. It's got a very good level of detailing and the features have been implemented well. And it's certainly a very attractive model in the HMT colour scheme. It's easy to highly recommend. <laughs> 